and a PEI painting could soon be a world record holder. Artist Nan Farrier is in the running for the longest pastel painting. Angela McIver met up with her today. After five years and 306 feet of paper, Nan Farrier's pastel painting is finally on display. Oh, no, I didn't work at it full time, you know, I just whenever I was going, I'd get another hunk and sketch a little more and, you know, roll it up and take it home and crayon it in. The painting is a condensed version of this highway, Route 225 between Middleton and Warren Grove. Farrier says she was inspired just looking out the window of her car one day. Oh, it was scenic and also uh, a variety of things on the highway, uh, you know, uh, working farms, good working farms, some uh, back to the earthers, yuppie houses, derelict houses, uh, historic places, quite a variety of stuff. Along the route, the seasons change and so does the landscape. Uh, this church was fun because there wasn't a single roof line that lined up and apparently it's gone now. According to Farrier, it's the longest pastel painting by a single artist in the world. She's applied to the Guinness Book of World Records but hasn't received confirmation yet. Either way, these visitors from New Brunswick are impressed. Oh, it's totally awesome. I mean, it must be so neat for the uh, local people especially to come and see their homes, you know along the route. Farrier admits she did put in a few personal touches. I guess did I have a photograph or a sketch of that and I thought that's got to go in because the colors were so nice. So I was too lazy to go all the way back out and figure out where it was. I just stuck it in there. <laughs> the owners of Gallery 18 where the work is currently on display say they couldn't be happier to help Farrier showcase her art. I think it, as an exhibition item it, it can uh, it could have a life, and I don't. And as I said, uh, I don't see why it can't go right across the country. Farrier's painting will be on display until August 22nd. Angela McIver, CBC News, New London. Old Home Week kicks off tonight.